Look at these new additions right here. You guys might have to help name them. We got some new pigeons today because we wanted some females for Piper. Well, hopefully Piper comes back. So I don't know what got into Piper, but last night when I went to put the ducks up, he bum rushed me and flew out of the coop and I have not seen him since. So literally we were scheduled to go pick up these birds so he could have a mate. And the night before we went to pick him up a girlfriend, he escaped to go find a girlfriend. And man, look at the tail he's missing out on. Look at it. We, we picked up five. This would have been he probably have been his girlfriend. She's the oldest. She's three months old like him. So hopefully Piper will decide to come back. Oh, wow. Look at Already testing out the nest. Look at Oh, the basket uh, swing. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna work out good. These guys have some different coloring to them. You see how they're more like the pastel. They're lighter color. They're just beautiful. They have some reds and blues in them. Yeah, they are gonna be super good here on the homestead. And they're gonna introduce some nice breeding stock. So that way we have enough diversity and genetics for when we get to Michigan, because there's not as many pigeoners up there. So that way we'll be able to uh, keep these guys going without having any genetic issues yeah look at how beautiful they are and she the lady who got these from has some more that are completely different as well so we can introduce uh, even more diversity into the stock which will be great but look at how beautiful they are so hopefully these ladies uh help attract piper back hopefully piper gets sick of the cold sick of not having a whole bunch of food at abundance and decides that hey you know home is actually better to be but he has not shown up at all today which gets us a little worried um but it's just part of it they hit that age you have to you have to keep them from being able to get out at all costs so for now on at about three months yeah at about three months which so, is the age of this one right here right and so we actually run kind of a similar chance with her if we can't get her a mate. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, hey, Boomba. He's like, I see some sunflower seeds. Yeah. I don't give a crap that there's new dudes here. Mm -mm. No, I got no. my lady. We cool. We cool. Hey, yeah. Prana. What do you, you guys doing? think? They weren't on whole seed. They were on like a pellet. So I wonder how they'll feel about having whole seed feed. They'll figure it out, though. Like, hey, there's some nice places to perch. Things are nice in here. Yeah, how you doing, Oya? Oh, yeah. Oh, Shun. Hey, oh, Shun. She's like, I'm getting really hungry, and I got the chicks to feed. There's, like, new ones here, but, like, I really want that feed. Dad, you're a little close, but, yeah, I want that feed. Okay, good. I got some feed. Look at that girl right mm -hmm. there. She's oh, dear. gorgeous. Yeah, look. Yeah, eat together, guys. Yeah, it's a buffet. Enjoy. Yeah, get to know each other. Woohoo! <laughs> Stretch out from that long <laughs> ride in the car. Oh, they're cute. Wow. Yeah, look at them all together. They're that is so such cute. a diversity. You got poop on your nose, little cutie. You guys are going to be perfect. Name you. Yeah. What's your name, huh? You going to engage? <laughs> This one seems to prefer human. <laughs> and what's Your interesting age? is that one doesn't seem to want to fly too much. So maybe she just likes the love and attention. Yeah. Oh, a little doll face. Yeah. She's starting to get her molt on. And so she'll be getting her adult feathers here soon. Just like how Piper was molting. Well, you can yeah. tell mm -hmm. that they... That's like the most that they've been able to fly and stretch... Yeah. It was a little tough for her to get up there, but she did it. Yeah, she flew up there. This is a much, much bigger air, aviary than what they're used to. So they're going to have a lot of fun in here, exploring, playing. And now our flock is getting bigger, so it won't be too long. Once we get about 30 birds, we can let them out to free range. We just have to get their numbers up high enough to where we're not going to, one, deplete our stock, and two, um they they have a much better defense against wild 
predators if there's enough she's, of them. Oh, oh, she's she went in. <laughs> oh, you were in the wrong place. She's like, we are not nesting. <laughs> we are not feeding you. You are not our chick. Don't go in our nest. <laughs> that was funny. What are you doing? No. These are the things they're going to learn. Now they got to learn the whole new social dynamic of this place. And these new friends. And, and now Shango has too many newbies to pick on. Yeah, this is going to be great. It's so much more distraction so they can't, you know, no one can overstimulate any other one. Yeah. So, again, I'm just going to have to tell you, just like I tell you in every video, hit that subscribe button with the bell notification so you get all of these videos. Because we upload pretty much every day. And if you like this, of course, hit the like and share it with a friend. Someone who would enjoy this. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think? You like your new home? I think you like the like new spot. I think you like That one's got home. shit on its nose. I know. Say it was a rough car ride. And I haven't figured out the facilities yet. <laughs> Give me some time.